course. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is just going to be a real quick video focusing on a quick tip, you could call it, uh, but more importantly um, two very simple functions or text-based functions we have available in Excel. Uh, this come about from a question that we received in terms of how to change the case of text. Uh, so we just wanted to do a quick video just to address that question in case anyone else was uh, struggling with this or trying to do the same thing themselves. So often in Excel, uh, when we're working with text anyway, and I guess especially if people are inputting that text manually, we might want to reformat it uh, in a number of ways, but in this scenario looking at here, it's to make change the case. So rather than something being in all lower case, we want to make it all into the upper or lower or any variation that we desire. So what we've done is we've got the simple text in column B, uh, or sample text, sorry, and you can see we just created a mismatch of um, words with um, upper and lowercase letters at different points without, uh, throughout those words and the characters. Um, so we're going to look at two functions. One is um, to change text into uppercase and the other is to change it into lowercase. Um, often when we look at functions and formulas we'll do a slide in which we go through the function just to understand all of the arguments made up but as this is a very basic formula and there's not really any arguments or there are no arguments other than uh, the source text you wish to convert uh, we thought we should be able to, we will be able to capture it in this quick short video. So the first one we'll look at is uppercase. What this function will do, it will just take your inputted text and convert it all into capital letters. Um, and the best way to demonstrate that is just to enter the formula. So to do this, all we need to do is do equals and enter our function that is named upper. So you double P E R and open brackets. And actually just before I go open brackets, you can see our prompt tells us it converts a text string to all uppercase letters. So all we need to do is upon entering upper, if we open the brackets, select our text and close our brackets, and then you can see what's happened. So our starting text of all lowercase letters saying the word hello has now been changed to all capital letters or uppercase letters to give the same word hello, but obviously uppercase. And if we just drag this down, you can see that regardless of where the capitals are or anything like that, all it's just doing is taking all those characters and ensuring that they're all in uppercase. And lowercase works exactly the same, but obviously um, the other way. So for this formula, all we need to do is do equal sign and enter lower. And as you can see from our prompt, it converts all letters in the text string to lowercase. So open our brackets. We then need to select the text uh, that we wish to feed in. Close and select hit enter. And then if we pull that one down, you can see what that does. So all it's doing is just converting all those letters now into lowercase. This can be, or both of these functions can work very well if you have a particular formatting that you require. Um, often you might want everything to be in an upper or lowercase format. So that's great for doing that. Alternatively, if you have scenarios where you've got text or words, uh, maybe like this example we have here in, in row eight, where you can see that by mistake some capital letters have been an entered into the middle of the word. Um, by using this format uh, or this function of lower, you can convert them all into lowercase. And if you want to be really clever, you could then use um, the, the, the formulas and functions we looked at previously of left, right, middle um, to change the desired letters into those capitals. Um, so that would be a good one for you to try around with. And if you want to see that video on left, right and mid, um, check out the link. What hopefully will be on the screen somewhere now. Uh, and that could be a little tip and trick that you could start implementing and using yourself. And also it works the same for letter, um, two double words or a string of character or string of words, they say, like in line nine, if you didn't want um, capitals on those other words, again, this lowercase or uppercase allows you to do whatever you desire. So we hope you enjoyed that short uh, but sweet video and that's given you uh, another bit of functionality in Excel you maybe didn't previously know or it might have been a reminder of to use this um, if you haven't used it for a while. But either way, we really hope you found that video beneficial. 
If you did, please do give the video a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button so that you are notified every time a new one of our videos hits the YouTube platform. Uh, we've also got a couple of links in the description of this video, um, our Facebook and our website. So if you have any questions at all, you can use either one of those links and get in contact with us. Or as always, feel free to drop a comment beneath this video. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.